time-symmetric new theory of gravity. It's brilliant. Hoyle at his best. Did you start as his PhD student? Are you after my job? Did you? Are you? No. Yes, he's a great scientist. His work on the production of helium inside stars is, um... What's the word? Then? Beautiful. And so is this. I do the checking. It should be refereed by a committee, but Hoyle doesn't have time. Can I see? Okay, but don't... What? Eat it? Just leave it on my desk. Up early? Are you all right? Uh, it's fine. You look like you've had a wild night. <laughs> Something like that. So, the Royal Society this afternoon. You're giving a paper today. This. You remember Stephen Hawking?
the new theory we have formulated differs in its global implications from the usual theory, in that whereas in the usual theory, the negative sign of the constant of proportionality, which appears in the field equations, is chosen arbitrarily. In the new theory, there's no such ambiguity. The sign must be minus, and further, the magnitude of G follows on from a determination of the mean density of matter, thereby enabling the cosmologist to know how hard he'll hit the ground if he falls off a cliff. <laughs> Any questions? Did you want to say something, young man? Your calculation is wrong. The advanced field diverges. The advanced field does not diverge. Mm, I'm afraid it does. It's all wrong. Would you like to tell us how you know this, young man? I worked it out. You worked it out during the lecture? No, I had a privileged early glimpse of the paper. Who oh, put you up to that? What? That stunt's in there. Who oh, put you up to it, eh? Somebody's put you up to sabotaging me. It's just wrong, that's all. I had to say it, didn't I? The physics is wrong. Why did you show him the paper? I hate them being shown to any bugger. <laughs> <laughs>